Hi, good morning and welcome to meditation. Today is the 15th of September. Uh, as the sun comes through the window of my, uh, my office here in Urt, where I live in the Basque country, we can see the, the glory of this, this, the star uh, per, uh, piercing the, the window and uh, illuminating the books behind me. So let's read again 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. And that is not the, the light of the sun that is piercing the darkness and uh, transforming things. It's actually the, the manifestation of the glory of God. And we all who, with unveiled face, contemplate the Lord's glory, are being transformed into his image with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. So the continuous uh, work of God's grace in us to transform us as the sun is transforming the beautiful paysage of the southwest of France, where we live. Philippians chapter 1, verse 6, being confident of this, that he who began, began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Let's read what Spurgeon, uh, this English-British um, theologian said about it. He says, the work of grace has its root in the divine goodness of the Father. It is planted by the self-denying goodness of the Son, and it is daily watered by the goodness of the Holy Spirit. It springs from good and leads to good, and it is altogether good. Spurgeon. Beautiful, isn't it? So it's a work of the God the Father, God the Son, God, the Spirit. The, the Father has manifested His grace, has shown His grace to us by sending His Son who, who denied Himself to die on the cross for us. And the Spirit is actually sanctifying us daily. So it's not finished because it says that it's to the, to, until the day of Christ. And then in First John 3, Two, it's, even be, it's going to become even clearer to us as we read, Dear friends, now we are children of God, and what we, we, we will be has not yet been made known. But we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like him, for we shall, shall see him as he is. So you see, it's God is working in us to that day. And in Revelation, it is written that there's, go, there's not going to be hunger or thirst. There's not going to be death or tears. There's going to be glory because we are going to be contemplated, no, contemplating the one who was, who is, and is to come. So let the Spirit uh, work in you as you walk daily with, uh, with God, as you, as you walk with Jesus, as you share about Jesus, as you live the life that Jesus has given you. And it's not finished yet. It's going to be finished when he'll come back again and we'll be with him forever. God bless you.